This video shows you how to annotate function parameters in Python, install a type hint checker, and use it in Visual Studio Code. Look at these two variables. Python does not need type specification when creating them. Their types are inferred from the assigned values. My name is a string, my salary is a float. Now I create and use a function that returns an employee summary. Look at the result. As you can see, I passed the arguments in the wrong order when calling the function. Since the function does not check its parameter data types, mistakes like this only become visible when executing the program. This is a relatively harmless mistake, but what if the salary is used to calculate with? Problems get more severe now. How can you spot these type mistakes before running the program? For this, you can use type hints. Let me show you how to add type annotations to the function parameters. When I execute the program, the error still occurs. This is important for you to know. Type hints do not enforce type checking in Python. For this, you need a third party tool. In this video, I will use the Python extensions for Visual Studio Code to check types. You probably already have the Python extensions installed. If not, let me show you how to do it. Open the extensions and search for Python. Click this Python package and install it. When the package is installed, open the Visual Studio Code settings. Search for Type Checking Mode and set it to Basic. Then go back to the code. Notice the wiggly lines under the arguments. When I hover over them, a pop-up shows the problem. I fixed the problem by reversing the arguments. and the wiggly lines go away. Go back to the settings. You can also set the mode to strict. Go back to the code and remove a type annotation. Visual Studio will now complain that you forgot to annotate the parameter. When I add the float type annotation again, the problem disappears. You have just seen how to use the Python extensions for Visual Studio Code to check types. But there are more type checker tools. Here are a few options. This list is not complete and I recommend trying out static type checkers yourself to see what fits your needs. Type hints are the source for a lot of proposals and discussions and some people argue that they are not needed at all since Python is a dynamic language. I cannot help you to decide whether you should use type hints. All I can do is share my observations while working with them. I noticed that type hints help to spot mistakes before executing the program, but they also add noise to the code. They are ignored by the Python compiler and you need a third-party tool to check for errors. And since Python does not enforce type hints, just like wrong documentation, wrong type hints make the code worse. So I guess that the question, should I use type hints, is answered as usual. It depends on the project, team, personal preferences, you name it. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. If you'd like to support me, check out my Python courses on Udemy. Links are in the description.